Suppose we have the function y equals log to the base a of x, where a is any base. You saw in the last video that if a is equal to e, then dy dx is 1 over x. OK, so we're assuming that a is not e now. Well, what we do is we change bases if we want to get the derivative of this function. So how do we change this to base e? Well, we use the fact that log to the base a of x is log to the base e of the argument, which is x, divided by log to the base e of of this subscript a. So it's easy to remember this formula for changing your base. So this e is the new base. This e, this could be any number actually, but I'm changing to base e so that we can use the result of the previous video for the derivative of ln of x or log to the base e of x. So this number can be anything, so you make it e in this situation. Um, so we can now write log to the base a of x as 1 over log to the base e of a or ln of a times log to the base e of x which is just ln of x so you could write it like that now 1 over ln of a is just a number because a is just a number a is a constant it's fixed x is the variable so when we go to get the derivative dy get dy dx well we can, this constant is multiplied by ln of x, so we just leave it to one side. So we have 1 over ln of a multiplied by the derivative of ln of x, which, as I've explained already, is 1 over x. So we can write our answer, if you like, as 1 over ln a times x. So in particular, if a happens to be equal to e, the number e, then dy dx is 1 over ln of e times x. But ln of e is log to the base e of e, which is just 1. So we get 1 over x, as expected, as we saw in the previous video, when a is e.